Hey everyone, so today I'm here with my friend Tristan. She came over and we decided to do the beauty scenario tag because she's very funny. And um, I don't know, we just felt like doing it. So we're going to do it. And I thought she was going to be a good person to do this video with. I was planning on doing this video with my sister, but my sister is apparently hard to get, um, like, to sit down and film. So you're the second best option. Thank you. <laughs> the first question is you have to get rid of all your foundations and you can only keep one high end and one drugstore. Which do you keep? Do you want to go first? I don't even use foundation though. What do you use? But like I use like, you know, like the MAC powder foundation. So like that, that foundation. Yeah. Like, I use that you for high end, but like I've never really tried a drugstore one. Oh. So you would just keep your MAC one? Yeah. Um, for my high end foundation right now, I think I would keep the Benefit Big Easy. Uh, just because I really love that. And then for the drugstore, the Maybelline Fit Me. I really like that one. It's a good liquid foundation and it doesn't look fake, so I like it. Uh, number two, you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? Oh my god, I'd tell her. What would you like, say? Like, I hate when people have lipstick on their teeth. Like, I feel bad for them, so I'm just like, I need to tell them. Yeah. Like, do I have lipstick? I actually, you do. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, I just feel bad. Like, I don't want to have lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, but like, I feel like if it was a person who was like really strict, I'd be like less shy. I wouldn't just be like, you have lipstick on your teeth. I would tell you. Like, you have to tell them, like, you have to. Yeah, I guess it depends on the person, but I would try and tell them, like, subtly, and I, I don't know. Because, like, what if they notice after and they're like, oh, like, that person didn't tell me? Well, they just wanted to be polite. Like, imagine, like, you're going for an interview and this lady has, like, on her teeth. I would tell her. Yeah, you would. I you're would. Pretty open. <laughs> Number three, you're not feeling yourself and need a pick me up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? Well, you know, I love Taupe by, by Mac. Mac. I'm wearing it right now. I have it <laughs> in my bag. I'm obsessed. It's like a dark, like nude. I love it. Yeah, it looks good on her, but I've tried it on and it doesn't look so good on me. But it looks good mm -hmm. on you. I love it. It's, it's like, like matte. Deeper. Yeah. yeah. She likes matte lipsticks. So mm -hmm. I like. I like a little bit creamier ones um and if i'm not feeling myself i really like coral bliss lipstick by mac it's like a really nice coral and uh whenever i put it on it like brightens up my whole face so probably coral bliss lipstick or lip liner i love mm -hmm. lip liner like as soon as i put on lip liner on my face if i'm feeling like gross or whatever if i put on lip liner i just I like i just like tie it together my face yeah. my favorite lip liner is whirl by mac and i thought i lost it for the longest time in like my boyfriend's car or something <laughs> but it was under my bed so i'm happy to have that back number four you go back in time for a day to your teenage years how would you do your hair and makeup differently well since we're both <laughs> 18 I guess like at the beginning of high school. Oh my god. In like grade eight, like I had a poof going on, like sneaky. Like a sneaky? Like oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna show you after. Yeah, I regret doing that. I don't I don't know man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Your poof? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that. Well you're not she doesn't wear so much. Like she doesn't wear eyeshadow or stuff like that, so you Oh makeup neutral. too? Yeah. Oh, Oh, in grade 8, I'd really pack on, like, the powder. Oh. Like, I don't know why. Like, I looked orange. I don't know. I wanted to be tan, but, like, I'm brown. <laughs> um, well, I remember in uh, the beginning of my high school years, when I first started straightening my hair, I'd only straighten the two front sections, and then oh. the back would be, like, all wavy and messy and ratty, because, like, I didn't straighten it, so I would definitely do that differently. Um, I didn't like really wear that much makeup like my makeup style has kind of stayed the same for like the longest time but I never did like colorful eyeshadows I always stick to neutrals I'd probably like tell myself to start plucking my eyebrows sooner because like for the I didn't do my eyebrows for the longest time I, ca I feel like I didn't do anything like super intense when I was a kid so number five you ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut and they but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut do you A, smile and say thank you, uh, leave and call your mom hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? Well, would you like to show them your hair? Well, my hair is really long. You yeah, can't stand see. up. <laughs> my hair is very long. And so thick. I don't go to the hairdresser. I cut it myself. Like, I don't trust these people. So. The last time I got a haircut, I did start crying in the chair. Oh. 
why would happen they only cut off two inches but like i just i'm really emotional when it comes yeah. to my hair and whenever like i'm like don't tell anyone she's like i won't i swear on my hair and if she swears on her hair then i know it's like serious yeah. um, that happened to me once too i remember they cut i wanted side bangs and they cut my bangs here like at the top and i'm i'm a leo and i don't know if that has anything to do with it but like i started crying and like i stormed out of there i was like so upset because like i had like little yeah little things okay. it's traumatic you can fix like badly plucked eyebrows or anything but like if your hair like it takes a while to grow back mm -hmm. now if that happened well now I, I learned my lesson and i'm really clear with my hairdresser you i'm like bring pictures yeah. like when you go yeah i bring pictures and i'm like really clear i'm like i don't want any more than this and like i tell them multiple times even if i sound really redundant i'd probably cry um, or I, d I would definitely say something. Don't just mess with people's hair. No, you can't do that. Like, that's just nuts. Like, Bride Wars, like, when she dyed the hair blue. Oh, my God. I would kill <laughs> anyone who did that, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, your friend surprises you with a four-day city break, and you have one hour to pack. Which do-it-all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? Oh, I don't even own a do-it-all palette. Yeah, you don't really wear... Like, eyeshadow. No, I don't. I I never wear eyeshadow. I'm sorry. Um, I would bring my Urban Decay Naked One palette because it has like all the neutral shadows I could need for like a night and even for night out, like it has like all the darker colors and they have colors for my eyebrow also. So if I wasn't allowed to bring an eyebrow pencil, I could just bring that and um yeah, I think Urban Decay Naked One or the Too Faced Neutral palette is good. But yeah. Urban Decay Naked One probably. Seven. Your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe. But your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? Oh, honestly, like my eyebrow pencil. Yeah. I can only choose one. Yeah. Yeah, like my Mac eyebrow pencil. Cause like mm -hmm. if my eyebrows aren't done, I just feel really ugly. But I need <laughs> concealer. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I would say something, like, expensive. Like, my Clarisonic, I hope, is safe because that's expensive. Oh, yeah. Um, but if it was, like, a beauty product, like, a makeup product, I'd probably hope my mascara was there because if I don't have anything else, if I just have mascara, then I'm fine well, for like, the day. what about your eyebrows? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have mascara and big lashes than eyebrows because it, like, opens your eyes. And, like, my skin isn't, like... I don't know I don't, know. I don't know. Like, you, you, your eyebrows, they need to be done. I know, but if, like, you just have big, bold eyebrows on your face and no, like, mascara or anything, like, I... I guess. Yeah, I would probably hope my mascara was safe. I, that's what I would hope for. But, like, I don't know. Well, I don't want that to happen. Okay, number eight. Your friend borrows your makeup and oh. returns it in awful condition. <laughs> do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? Oh, I'll, I'll just be like WTF. But like, I wouldn't ask them to like pay for it. One of my old friends, um, Kitty. Kitty, yeah. She, she <laughs> dropped my bronzer and it broke. Oh. Uh, but, like, she did it by accident, okay. so I wasn't, like, oh, my God. Like, she didn't, like, maliciously slam it on the ground. It's an accident. It's an accident, um, but I I definitely said, like, really? Like, I said, I, and it probably said, like, oh, my gosh, like, what am I going to do? Um, I mean, it's just makeup. Like, I'm not going to, like, make things awkward with my friends, like, over, like, a lip liner. And the bronzer was already at the end of its rope, so, uh, like, it wasn't that big of a deal, but... I don't know. If I, like, lent them something, like an eyeshadow palette. Like, my sister took my Naked 2 palette and, like, mm -hmm. demolished it. But I, I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. Like, nothing's going to come from it, so. Yeah, that was our beauty scenario tag. Be sure to like this video if you want more of Tristan. <laughs> maybe some hair tips or something. And, Imagine. um, yeah. Maybe. Tips with Tristan. Tri tips and tricks with Tristan. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, we're going to get going. But I hope you have a great day or night, depending on when you watch this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. You always do that. Bye. <laughs> and it is about finding motivation to finally get healthy.